The book I chose for my book talk is James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl. I'm sure many of y'all know who he is. He wrote a lot of common books for children like Matilda, the BFG, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, I'm sure there's many more, but I don't really know them at the top of my head. Um, but this is one of my favorite studies written. Um, this book was published in 1961. It is a fiction book. And I uh, personally would use this for third and fourth grade, but you can use it for fifth grade if you'd like. I feel like this book is a little too young for fifth grade, but I read this book in third grade when I was in school. The book is about a young boy named James Henry Trotter. Um, he lived a really happy life with his parents. Um, they're from England, and there is a lot of uh, English language in this book. Uh, just some of the words that they use. You'll see it um, if you ever decide to read it or if you have read it before. Um, his parents unfortunately got eaten by rhinoceros when they were in town trying to um, go shopping. So James was then sent to his aunt's house. They were pretty mean to him. They wouldn't let him play with any of his friends or go by the sea. His life drastically changed when he went to live with them. Uh, so he was really upset about it. Then one day a mysterious old man came up to him and gave him um, some magic green things and uh, he said be careful you know where they land because the magic will go to wherever it lands and he was supposed to eat them. However uh, he was running from his aunt and they fell on the ground and they ended up in the soil of a peach tree that never grew. So once the green things reached the peach. Uh, the peach ended up growing exponentially, probably the size of a house. Uh, so once James realized that this peach was getting huge, he understood that the magic went to it. He decided to uh, see if he could get into the peach and there was a hole. Uh, once he climbed into the hole of the peach, it closed up immediately and he met a lot of friends along the way like Mr. Grasshopper, uh, Miss Spider, the silkworm, a Miss Ladybug, the earthworm, and all of them became really good friends and they decided to travel the world and they went across the ocean somewhere. I would rate this book a four out of four stars uh, because like I said earlier, this book has a lot of um, expressive imagination with insects coming to life and I just think the ending of it is really great. Um, it's a very positive read. At first it's not because of what happened to his parents, but at the end um, it just has like a really really good ending and um, I just think that you know James comes from a really bad life and then ends up living the best life he could have lived. Um, that's why I would rate it four out of four stars. And then I'm going to read you an excerpt from the book now. Round and round and upside down went the peach as it plummeted toward the earth. And they were all clinging desperately to the stem to save themselves from being flung into space. Faster and faster it fell. Down and down and down, racing closer and closer to the houses and streets below, where it would surely smash into a million pieces when it hit. And all the way along, Fifth Avenue and Madison Avenue and along all the other streets in the city, people who had not yet reached the underground shelters looked up and saw it coming, and they stopped running and stood there, staring in a sort of stupor at what they thought was the biggest bomb in all the world falling out of the sky onto their heads. A few women screamed. Others knelt down on the sidewalks and began praying aloud. Strong men turned to one another and said things like, I guess this is it, Joe, and goodbye, everybody, goodbye. And for the next 30 seconds, the whole city held its breath, waiting for the end to come. Yeah, that's all I have for you. Um, I hope that you read this book if you haven't already. Uh, like I said, I would definitely teach this in third to fourth grade. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them below.